Hi, welcome. If you are crazy about learning photo editing, image editing, and applying different kind of filters on the image, then today's session is much more important for you. Here we are going to learn about a special free online tool that is called Photopia. Photopia is a freely online available tool. With the help of this tool, we can get the same features as uh, Adobe Photoshop provides. So let's start by clicking on the web browser. We can use any of the web browsers such as Mozilla, Firefox, or Google Chrome or any other web browser. Just we have to type the photo yeah, .com address here. The Photopia interface is a fast loading interface with all uh, features. So let's start by evaluating and discussing which features are available in the Photopia okay here is the topmost menu bar that is most commonly used in windows and other operating system here is the social media bar that is used for uh, about information and social media links this is the home side panel that is used to uh, bring uh, other platforms such as onedrive google drive uh, media import in photopia this is the Photopia home screen logo and here are some uh, options to create the project such as new project open file means me uh, image file from the computer or we can also use templates from already saved in our uh, drive or computer this area is also called drag and drop container by using this area we can also drag and drop files manually in photopia for further editing photopia uh, online application provides such type of for, uh, file formats sports such type of file formats for the editing purpose okay uh, and uh, the uh, if we want to get rid or irritated uh, some kind of uh, interface then this may be uh, ads that are run on photopia uh, that these ads are not uh, uh, visible in the premium account we will talk about this later how we can evaluate or get rid of these ads from the photopia application to get rid from these uh, this sidebar or the ads we can purchase photopia premium account we can click on this account option here is the account option available in photopia this is the free plan uh, i am also using this free plan we can also purchase premium plan in premium plan more advanced features are included in photopia some features and some key tools are also available in the premium plan only in premium plan and there is uh, some kind of uh, free space available in the free plan that is 0.5 gb means half uh, gb available uh, in the free plan okay we are not going to purchase or proceed any free plan or photopia today we are only going to discuss the main interface of the photopia okay let's uh, start uh, using the photopia by clicking on the new project we will go to the next this is a, after clicking on the new project a new project window dialog box is appeared here here we can uh, evaluate which uh, functions or which features are available in this new project dialog box this is the basically new project dialog box here we can see that uh, new project dialog box provide the facility to write the name of the project we can write uh, name of the project by clicking on this so that we can say this is our first project We can say this is our first project or first file we can edit the name of the project from here and secondly these all other options are relevant to the dimensions uh, we can provide width height and uh, dpi for the uh, layers and for the interface this is the background color for the photopia image after uh, defining these all properties of the new uh, file we will click on the create option uh, here is the some interesting uh, features or tabs are available in photopia that are not commonly available in photoshop 
these are the special tabs we can click on the social I have to zoom this in this is the social uh, default image formats or slide formats we can just click on this one the photopia will automatically load the corresponding image files or template on the right hand side if we want to select the print option this is the print option a4 size b4 size legal size there is the screen option vga hd screen for uh, templating and here is also available mobile templates size by default this is the more interesting feature and more useful feature of the photopia here is also available to raise to power n uh, model templates means uh, 16 by 16 32 by 32 64 512 1 2 4 etc if we uh, move to the next uh, section on the right hand side here is the templates uh, that automatically load in the photopia according to the size or resolution or dimensions we have selected here from the left hand side we can also uh, toggle these options to load multiple type of templates we can also randomize these templates by clicking on the randomize button we can also find such a type of other relevant templates according to our interest we can say that this is the science template or this is these are the other new templates we can also provide here other keywords that are such like of cartoon or other I am going to reload the photopia so that we can evaluate it from initial click on new project here are some templates that are automatically loaded here is the screen size or dimensions we can filter these by clicking on randomize templates will automatically load we can also filter these templates by clicking on let's suppose i am going to uh, designing a facebook page that uh, will include the cartoons i am just pressing the enter this will include the cartoon template we can toggle this sample option we will have lot of cartoons we can also uh, search for the science keyword the templates here will load uh, containing the background image of the science fiction or we can say that computers the templates will include on the back end the computers or theme of the computers we will click on some one of the these templates I am clicking this one okay this is so nice and so interesting we can see here the option of uh, full window screen I am clicking on this option to use it as a photo Adobe Photoshop. Here the uh, interface available of the Photopia. I will have to discuss the complete interface F after uh, moving mouse on the center of the top. Here is the cross button. After clicking on the cross button, the Photopia will uh, resize its window into the browser frame. Okay, I have to evaluate this entire interface. These are the tools commonly used tools that are also available in the adobe photoshop this area or interface is called canvas this is a canvas where we can draw any each and everything in this uh, topmost area is called menu bar this is called quick toolbars that include image tool paragraph tool text tool brush tool and uh, also css tools this is the layer window dialog box that contains layers visibility, layers insertion, layer masks, channels and paths and other much more important properties relevant to the layers. This is also bottommost portion of the layers dialog box that is used to include folders, layers, masking and gradient styles to the layers. This is the complete interface. Uh, this is the positioning interface. We can position our objects and use other relevant properties to the particular tool selected in the photo here. Okay, here we can see that the layer properties, how these visible properties are work. Each and every layer, text layer and background or graphic layer can be visible or invisible using the layer properties. 
here are the some common tools uh, i have to uh, discuss with you that the premium and free versions have some limitations let's suppose if we click on the magic wand tool or selection tool uh, here is the subject selection option here we can see that i will have to zoom in here we can see that the subject selection option okay uh, after clicking this one this is loading uh, online uh, the subject selection tool is loaded if i again click this one here is the message i have to uh, show you the message please uh, use this once per 30 seconds please wait for 24 seconds or get premium account these are the some limitations that are available in the photopia but by default we have to also purchase the photoshop uh, premium edition or purchase the photoshop edition for these all kind of purposes these are some limitation of the photopia we can select layers we can toggle different colors we can select brush tool and brush styles here we can also pick the image tool for the image capacity okay here is a list of bundle of tools that are available in the photopia similar to the uh, adobe photoshop in today's lecture uh, i am only going to describe the interface of the photopia